Hi everyone, welcome to Azure Cosmos DB Conference 2024. I am Avijit Gupta and I'm the product manager on Azure Cosmos DB team. Today, we are going to talk about and demonstrate Azure Cosmos DB for MongoDB V Core vector capabilities using a text to image based search application, which highlights its ability for bringing or creating AI based use cases on it. Let us first start with a quick overview of the product. So Azure Cosmos DB for MongoDB V Core was announced as part of the Microsoft Ignite event hosted in last November. Works based on a MongoDB wide protocol, which means that the developer gets all the benefits of using Azure Cosmos DB while still being able to utilize all their familiar tools, SDKs, or drivers that they have been using with their existing MongoDB applications. The solution comes with advanced capabilities of performing vector searches as well as doing full text searches. Now talking of vectors, vector embeddings are compact and rich representation of your data as it is representing your data in a multi-dimensional space wherein each dimension is actually representing a feature or an attribute about your data content. The, the representation actually allows us to compare objects based on their proximity in this multi-dimensional plane. So it is expected that the objects which appear closer and uh, uh, as per the proximity in this plane will be most semantically similar. Vector search provides the ability to work with diverse media content like images, audio, video, face detection, and many more other media forms. Uh, interestingly, all of this diverse media content is mapped on a common vector plane in short, vector search facilitates a multi-model content retrieval where users are able to seamlessly search across different types of data content using a unified interface. Now let us experience this with our demo. So we have used three different Azure services for building the demo. We are using an Azure AI vision resource and Azure Cosmos DB for MongoDB V core resource. And we are using a blob storage container. At a high level, we can split our demo into three phases. Phase one involves generating the, computing the embeddings using the Azure AI vision resource. So effectively we are using Azure AI vision resource to convert all our input images from our data set into a vector embedding. And we are storing metadata along with this vector into a CSV file on our local. In phase two, we are using this generated CSV for uploading the data to our Azure Cosmos DB for MongoDB V core collection. And we also are uploading the images to Azure Blob Storage Container. And finally, in phase three, th through our similarity search application, we are going to send in a prompt, which could be of a text or an image for a format. And that will be searched for similarity on a MongoDB V core collection, which returns us with a list of items which it thinks are most semantically similar to our data content. So to save us some time, uh, I have already completed a couple of steps. So we can see uh, I have already uh, generated the embeddings, embeddings for our data set of 2,767 images. And we have also uploaded the images to our blob container, which is named as demo embedding. We are storing all the images over there. And we have also uploaded our data into a collection on Azure Mo MongoDB for vCore instance. Now let us look at the data uploaded to our collection through a MongoDB client. Okay, so this is our Azure Data Studio client and a quick overview of what we can see in our demo collection. So I have performed a demo.find one, which shows us the structure of uh, the document that is created in this collection. As we can see here that we are storing an image file, description, author, title, and other metadata information alongside the vector details of our image that we uh, converted into an embedding using our AI vision resource. Now, one, one, one thing, one important thing to remember is that we, in order to be able to perform vector searches, we require creating a, an index over a vector field. In this case, we have vector column on which we have created an index and the index is of vector IVF type. As of today, Azure Cosmos DB for Mongo V Core also supports HNSW kind of indexes. But for our use cases, we are using vector IVF and we are using a cosine similarity search here. 
we are using a 1024 dimension uh, space. Effectively, all our embeddings are generated out of 1024 dimensions. So we are going to compare those. So now let's get into our GitHub page. So here is our GitHub page where you can find uh, the content I'm presenting and you can clone and try it out by yourself. So without wasting more time, let's dive into the demo. So this is a very simplistic UI uh, built using Streamlit, which is an open source library uh, available in Python. Uh, let us start by just doing a quick prompt saying that let's say we are looking for a scenery with river. And let's say we want to get five similar images showing or painting showing scenery with a river. Let's hit the search. And we get following images or paintings as a result set. We can see these having river in it. All of these paintings seems to depict the river around it. So effectively, we can see that the semantic meaning of our search was understood by this application and it was able to provide us with contextually appropriate data. Now let us understand a bit more by getting into the Jupyter notebook and understanding a little more about the uh, commands that are running in the background. So effectively, uh, as a step one, what we are doing in this demo is that we are using or we are sending in a prompt which happens to be scenery with river and we are vectorizing this text prompt. So effectively using the vision endpoint, we have converted this text into a vector. Let's trigger this. So we can see that it reverted us with a multidimensional vector. In our case, it happens to be a 1024 dimensional. For easier, easier viewability, I'll, I'll just comment the print statement. And uh, as we wanted to see five images, I'll just set up the variable as five. Now in the next step, what we are doing is we are hitting our database uh, and we are hitting the demo collection here with an aggregate call. And we are performing a vector search here, wherein we are sending in the query vector generated in the previous step. And the path here describes our uh, field where we are storing these vectors, while the K field represents the number of elements that we are looking for in terms of similarity. And this projection is just to return us with the metadata information that we are going to use in our next steps. So let me trigger this and perform a similarity search on the database for our text prompt. We have our data set in result variable. Let's quickly query the data frame. And this is what we have got from the database. Effectively, we are seeing these five paintings or references that the database thinks are most similar. Now let us validate this. So in the final step, what we are doing is we are hitting the Azure Blob Storage container with this uh, metadata information and trying to pull up the, the media content for uh, validating our search. So let us trigger that. OK. so. We can see that it reverted us with those similar images which we saw in the application. So effectively, uh, we can see that how accurate the content was and the semantic meaning of our search was understood by the application. Right? We can actually extend the same uh, setup to perform image to image based search as well, which is what we are going to do next. So in, in this situation or in this scenario, what we are doing is, we are just changing, uh, so we are just going to change our text prompt, uh, wherein instead of sending in a text prompt, I'm going to send an image as a text, image as a prompt to the application. We have generated a vector for this image in the current context, and I'm going to just validate uh, what this image refers to. Now let us go next and trigger the same set of instructions or statements that we did uh, while doing the text to image search. Here we have got these three images as result set where it thinks these are going to be similar to what we have given as an input. Now we can see that with the input painting that we provided, we have got something similar in the content. We have a couple of kids in each of these paintings and 
more importantly we can observe not only the kids are there but there is the texture of these paintings are quite similar in context and additionally we have uh, we have uh, seen that same image being returned because there is an exact hit that we have given as an input and we are getting exact match within our data set and that is why we are seeing that as being a return in our data set so we can see that with this an enhanced level of accuracy has been inbuilt into the system and we are able to perform multi model data searches with our mongodb bico instance i would recommend going to aka.ms/trymongovcore to get started with the product and uh, experience it first hand that's all i had for the demo i hope you enjoyed this talk thank you for listening and enjoy the rest of the conference thank you